Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're gonna go over an inventory unit. Keep in mind, this one does have a cell pending on it right now, but it gives us a good opportunity to show you a 20 foot Cimarron stock combo. We don't get these in as much as like our 24s or our 26 combos, but when we get them in, they go super, super fast. So we really wanted to take the time to take, show you a video of this cool little setup on this stock combo. It's a 2024 Cimarron Lone Star. 20 foot stock combo. It is set up on a slant wall. It's kind of catered more towards horses and cattle if you want to run that way, but it's a really cool trailer. We have this front tack here with our extra wide 42 inch tack door. The cool thing about doing this big tack door is it gives us a couple options. It gives us one, the option to run this swing out saddle rack and still be able to walk by your saddles. That way you're not swinging in, swinging out every time you need to come in this trailer. It also gives us the option to be able to fit our blanket bars directly on that large door and save you some of that tack space inside your actual tack room for other stuff instead of mounting blankets on the wall, taking up hanging space, stuff like that. So it gives us the ability to do this swing out blanket bar on this door. The reason I like these swing out blanket bars is it makes it super easy to get your blankets on. Typically on a hard mounted blanket bar, once you get one or two sets on, it's gonna be really hard to get your other two sets on because you're fighting the wall at that point and then you're fighting the blankets you already have on there. But with this setup, you can slide them all straight on, swing them over against that wall and it kind of gives you that pressure up against that wall to hold those blankets from falling while you're traveling. Down below that, we have our three compartment brush tray. Um, it is a drainable brush tray separated into kind of three compartments. So if you do, you know, get a fly spray bottle, something like that, that freezes, cracks, starts leaking in the winter, it will contain it to one of those three areas and drain it so your, all your other stuff in there is not getting nasty as well. You have our fold up step on a gas shock here. Again, it's making that step up in here quite a bit more easy. It's taking about eight inches a step off this trailer, which is super handy. We try to include those on absolutely every trailer we build whether it's inventory and then if we're doing a custom build, we strongly suggest it for you guys as well. In this tack room, we are a fully carpeted gooseneck deck, drop wall and boot box. Again, keep in mind, this is a 610 wide trailer, but you can tell just how much space is in here, even kind of with that smaller footprint. We do have our, we got about a four foot boot box right here. It is fully carpeted, great storage, carpet in the bottom, really easy to clean, but it also serves as a nice step up into your gooseneck area. If you are storing stuff up here, if you are running a mattress up there, it gives you a nice little place to step up into bed for the evening. Speaking of throwing mattresses up here, we do also on every single trailer we order, as a standard, we are pre-framing the roof for air conditioning. It saves a lot of time and money down the road to have that come pre-framed. If you wanna run an AC in here, we can simply just drop one right into that framing versus having to come back in, reframe the roof to fit it and stuff like that. So again, we do that on all our Cimarrons to save you guys the time and money down the road. It doesn't cost us a whole lot to do with the factory when they're already framing the trailer, so we figure to give you guys that option in the future is a lot cheaper than you would be spending down the road. So move over to our driver's side short wall on this trailer. We do have our shelf up high. It is about a two inch lip with a rubber bottom here, so you can throw hat boxes, boot boxes, whatever you need up there. It's gonna keep it from falling while you're traveling. It's a great little area to kind of store stuff and keep it organized up out of the way. Mounted to the bottom side of that shelf, we do have our clothes bar. So again, if you're hanging show clothes, slickers, jackets, whatever, they're hanging there, they're underneath that shelf, they're out of the way. Um, you're not stepping over clothes, your clothes are nice when you get where you're going and you actually need your clothes. Then over here on our partition wall, we have a set of bridle hooks high and a set of bridle hooks low. We are fully carpeted behind our bridle hooks. We like to do that, one, to help keep your bridles and trailer looking nice, they're not rubbing off on each other. And two, it's really gonna help deaden that noise for your horses. Horses, the quieter it is in your trailer, the better they're gonna haul. If you have bridles banging up against that metal while you're traveling, it can get kind of noisy for your horses in the back. And so that carpet's really gonna help deaden the noise and make your horses travel quite a bit better. Then in our dead space back here behind that swing out saddle rack, we do have a 25 gallon corner water tank. Again, we're trying to utilize as much space as we can as possible. And that's really kind of a dead area the way that saddle rack swings in. So it gives you the option to use that dead space and actually be able to haul 25 gallons of fresh water with you for your horses, dogs. If you're going camping, something like that, and you need the water for yourself, you can run clean water out of there. It's just really nice to be able to take that water from home with you. You're not having to worry about finding a hydrant somewhere that has potable water for your horses. And some horses are kind of picky and only like to drink their home water most of the time. But again, great little concept there in that corner with that corner water tank. We start working our way down this passenger side. We are gonna to run to our full extrusions on this passenger side. 
Your full extrusion is going to run anywhere that there's stall space because again that's kind of where you're tying your horses. So this extrusion is quite a bit more beefier than our painted sheets. So we like to do that anywhere a horse can you know lean, paw, kick, just to add some strength to that trailer and keep it looking nice. Up high we do have a 16 inch awning light again casting some good light over here for saddling, tying horses out and it will give you enough light from that tack room as well to be able to saddle horses on this side of the trailer. Dual plexiglass track. Again, it comes with the plexiglass. I forgot to mention, you will have a tray up in that nose as well, that when you pull this plexiglass out, you can easily throw it in that tray. It's not sitting on the floor in your tack room, sitting on the floor in your tack room at home in your barn where it can get stepped on and broke. It's always with the trailer, always easily accessible and super easy to operate. You will have two slits on each side of these plexiglass tracks. So again, you can easily just wedge one side out and start pulling them. You don't have to take a screwdriver and remove metal pieces like you do on most trailers. It's all kind of seamless on this trailer, which is really simple. Two tie rings front and rear on each side of this trailer. It is 610 wide, so we have our full length running board on this trailer. And then we are on two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. These are nitrogen filled tires. So again, you're not gonna have to worry about cold mornings and warm afternoons changing the PSI too much in your tires. Another thing I wanna mention about these tires, when you get a simmer on, these are warrantied through Lion's Head. You will get a one year, no questions asked on these tires. And while we're talking a little bit about that, your tires are going to have a one year no question asked. Simron, no matter what Simron you order, you are going to get a three year bumper to bumper warranty and an eight year structural warranty and they really stand by it as well. You don't have to have it fixed at a Simron dealer, no matter where you're at in the country, you call them, figure out what shop you want to take it to and again it doesn't have to be a Simron dealer and they will get you guys taken care of. Here on our load side of this trailer it is a full rear gate, again dual plexiglass track. We have an eight inch awning light up high. Switches are located on your left panel back here, your left header, to operate your outside lights as well as your stall lights of this trailer. Before we jump in this trailer, let's show you guys, I know we show this on every single Cimarron we do, but it is a four inch centered aluminum floor. It is a V-truss center with interlocking channels. So typical trailers are gonna have, you know, 10, 12, 16 inch centers. This is every four inches has a center running the length of this trailer. So again, no matter where a horse stands in this trailer, it's standing directly over support beam. So we work our way into the trailer, we do have our center cut gate, again, set up on a slant to kind of match that slant wall on our partition wall. So again, we take that stock combo concept of, you know, typically it being a straight wall with our straight cut gate. We turn everything on a slant. It still gives you the ability to load more horses that way, but it also gives you the ability to still run it as kind of a cattle trailer if you need to. Cool thing about it on this center cut gate is it does latch over. To the wall if you want to haul open like this if you're hauling atvs utvs side by sides whatever it may be gives you the option to run this trailer open as well in this trailer or i guess any simron you order you are getting a fully insulated roof again it'll run the whole length of this trailer through your tack room as well doesn't matter what simron it's on you're getting that insulated roof it's really going to take substantial hail i mean we had a hailstorm roll through here last spring that Anything with an aluminum sheeted roof got it pretty good, but all of our Cimarrons were pretty much solid. Um, and again, the main benefit to this is the heat. I mean, hot summer days, this is really gonna refract some heat off of it. I mean, you can pretty much tell the feeling. We like to do if customers come in and they're like, hey, we wanna check out the insulated trailers versus non-insulated. You can take them in a non-insulated one and then walk them into an insulated one and you can physically feel the difference in that insulated trailer, how much cooler it is on a hot summer day. But we will also have kick mats lining our full stall area all the way around about four and a half feet up again partition wall hip wall anywhere your horse is going to rub kick anything like that is going to have that kick mat and then here on our head wall of this trailer again trying to go with the concept of it being a dual purpose we do have a full length tie bar running the tie horses the whole length of this driver's side wall and then of course up front we do have our escape door situated up front in this trailer as well. LED lighting throughout. So you know, a really cool concept um, to be able to run horses and cattle out of the stock combo. And again, it's a really manageable size too. We're a 20 foot on the floor. You'll be about 28 foot, including your gooseneck over your truck bed. So it's a really manageable size that can still get you a lot of things done in a lot of places. Here on our head wall, it's gonna look really similar to that hip wall with the exception of the escape door. Dual plexiglass track, 16 inch LED light, our two tie rings, again, 
6,000 pound axles, and then we come to our escape door. Running it as a dual concept, we like to throw a chest bar here just to keep your horse from leaning on that escape door. But you kind of do have some other safety features as well. It's not just a man latch, it is a full paddle latch holding this shut. So you're gonna have to worry about a horse opening a latch and that door wiggling on you. You're gonna have that chest bar, you're gonna have your paddle latch. And then again, you also have a tie bar up high on this escape door if you are running a horse in the front most part of this trailer. Work our way underneath. Underneath, we do just have our single speed drop shoe manual jack. We can easily upgrade this to a hydraulic jack if that's something you guys wanted to do. And then up here in our corner, we have our spare tire with our matching aluminum wheel to the rest of the tires and wheels on this trailer. So again, you have a flat, you have a blowout. You can easily swap tires and wheels, throw that one on, still have a matching set on the ground. If you're within that year, go ahead and call Lion's Head. They will send you a brand new tire on them. They will get it fixed for you guys. You don't have to worry about that at all. But again, this is a 20 foot Cimarron Lone Star stock combo. It's our 2024 model. We have, this one is sale pending. We do have another 20 foot right behind that that should get here later this week or possibly early next week if you're looking for one. We also have some larger options, you know, a 24 foot, 26 foot with a couple of different setups. But if you are interested in this trailer, the stock number for this unit is 5N231670. Again, 2024 Cimarron Lone Star 20 foot stock combo. If you're interested in this trailer, some of those other sizes we have available, or if you want to check out the other 20 foots we have on order that are due to show up here any day, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.